Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Dun dun dun! Alrighty. Oh wow, so we done an Isaac run. So let's go. Let's go, Eden. Sure. I got a two win streak. Nice. How is the gain to voice volume right here? Holy guacamole. I started with Mongo Baby and the D6. What an incredible Eden start. Maybe the best. Do do. Voice is a bit loud. Okay, let me adjust my headset. Here. All right, that should be good, I think. <laughs> yes, it is, Breakfast Goons. This build is already a monster. Do do. Okay, we have no bombs for that dark rock yet. Yet. Um, probably should just fight the boss here and see if we get a D6 charge that we want. Oh, he almost bombed himself. That would have been cool. Oh, let's roll that. Uh, that's not great either. It is bombs, I guess. Oh, it's not bombs. Oh, hey, we got another shooting follower. So I guess that's extra deeps. Oh, we may have somebody wanting to join the guild in the Discord a little bit later. Do Wow, that's a good item, man. No bombs, two dark rocks. You can also see our secret room there. Okay, 
Hey, it's a battery. The Joker. Wow, okay, De devil deal possibility here. Uh, one more. Krampus, oh my god. I don't want to freaking die. Ugh! To roll or not to roll? Okay, one third of copy then. Of course it's Krampus, why wouldn't it be? Hey, that's cool. Hey, a bomb, nice. Soul Heart's definitely welcome too. And I don't want to use my bomb to get into. Yeah, I think uh, Secret Room's gonna be best here rather than Dark Rock. The Dark Rock could net me Small Rock, but money in here could net me something in the store. Nice. That is pretty sick nasty. Yeah, I can be really glad I got a heart from Krampus indeed. Alright, nice. Mr. Mega's good. Nice. Okay, let's leave enough coins to get an arcade next floor, potentially. We got one more Dark Rock to get. Has been a while indeed, only done over a month, I think. Well, super secret's probably right here. Should be. No? Alright then. There's only one other place for the super secret room to be, so let's go check it out. Definitely worth here. Got double stone chest room. This could net me another guppy piece, potentially. Super Seeker can only be connected to one other gray room. So here the choices were uh, above the boss room or this room right here. There's no other place that only connects to one other gray room. Do, 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 do. Uh, this guy's got coins in his eyes. Let's check it out. Nice nickel, bud. Do, 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 do. All right, well, that's a pretty spectacular basement one. We have two shooting followers, one-third of Guppy, Mr. Mega, three red hearts, three soul hearts. Yes, yeah, Super Secret can be connected to the secret room sometimes. There's a lot of weird stuff that can happen with secret rooms. But generally speaking, it should be connected to one gray room only. Doesn't mean it will be. I think I'm actually going to take Callus here. Not taking spike damage is pretty good. Isaac's head's okay, but it doesn't scale well later on.
I see you, spitter. Alright. One more room, and we're probably gonna go back to the cursed room to see if we can get a reroll. Or the item room will just be here. That works too. Oh, man, that's not a bad item, but with this crappy tier rate, it's not good. Okay, we definitely want to buy Mom's Key. That basically doubles the output from chess. Mongo Baby uh, copies the effect of whatever baby you get. Since we had him first, he's just like a normal uh, double fire rate follower. Yeah, I'll take wide shot. That's good. It's looking like the secret room's next to the store here, too. Doodly doodly doo. Fair play. Really doubtful we're gonna get another reroll here, but I wanna buy that battery before the boss at the very least. What? What a room. What's happening in Black Spiral? Yeah, Mongo Baby can be any baby in the game. But at base, he's still really good. He's like having double brother Bobby. Hey there, Glutoni. Cruciseth, thank you for the four consecutive months. Much love, man. All right, we're going to go by the battery, check the spike room, go fight the boss. Hopefully we roll a devil deal into more guppy pieces. That'd be ideal. My pleasure, Liquid Bible. Thanks for being here, sir. Blank room could be anything. Not sure I've even seen that room before. It's gotta be a pretty rare one. Monstro. No need for that bomb. It's not a good idea. All right, Devil Deal. What you got? Well, I'm not gonna turn down flying. Okay. Go back and get the uh, the hearts we can out of Dark Bum here. And now we also don't need the callus so we can pick up back up Isaac's head. I don't believe that was actually contract. Maybe it was? Either way, mom's key should be more than enough item resource. I'm glad we rerolled. Hey, awesome, rude boy. Glad I helped out.
That's why I did it. I love teaching and sharing knowledge. One of my favorite things. Looks to me like the super secret's back by the boss. We're gonna we're gonna check this out because if it is the red heart room, we could be looking real good on health. I would like some speed, tier rate, and damage at this point. We have a pretty nice build going. Okay, looks like it's here then. It's gonna be tricky. Tails here. Curse of the unknown. We have enough health. That's how much we have. Without these shooty followers, my damage would be pretty uh, dismal. Magician. Probably want to open that before the floor's, floor's over, but not right now. Flying does make our low damage uh, a lot not as bad. Should be safe zones inside of most rooms with flying this early on. No battery, ouch. Poopity poop poop poop. Such happy little poops. What are you? The fool. Um this will allow me to cheese the combat room. Let's just go do that now. Check in here, what's up? Three room, I don't remember what three room does. D20 for the floor, I think. Reels all pick up items, current floor, D20 style, indeed. We're gonna leave everything on the ground that we can. Alright, if only I had health, huh? I might pop this blank rune in there to see if I get uh, the resistance rune. If I do, we can generate an intense amount of coins. Uh, I don't believe so, Black Spiral. Only opening the chest, I think, starts the combat. Um... Oh yeah, I can cause a... Uh... Oh! Big mess inside the store. Hmm. Battery buddy's pretty tempting with the uh, the D6. We'll be back here. Oh yeah, dark bum. That was your chance. Why didn't he pick that up? I am doing awesome, Leprechaun. How are you, sir? Who's the boss? Ooh, well, we already have flying, but we'll be able to reroll this at least. Pretty rare boss encounter here. Look at Battery Buddy, already spawning batteries for me. 
What a legend. Yes! Tier and shot speed up. Very good. Why would that proc uh, speed, in that case, and chance looted? I don't understand the mechanic. Break it down for me. Whoa, that's not good. Whoa, there, buddy. Yeah, monsters along with the wide shots, pretty great. Holy guacamole. Okay, this is cool because we got the D20 roll uh, later on here. Okay, we know the secret room's not there. It's got to be over here somewhere. Do I even want to bother the secret room or do I want to try for as much coins on the ground as possible? Okay, gotcha, Chance Looted. Thanks for the clarification there. Actually, let's use the blank rune in here just in case it's resistant. Purity rune instead. Okay. We should get a decent amount of money for doing this. Should also get some health because I'm going to assume some of these at least turned into hearts. That looks nifty. Yeah, a bit of a shame my battery got rerolled there, huh? Could add another reroll. Could still get one in the coin mess in the store, too. Definitely a possibility. Nice, good job, Dark Bomb. Nice work, bud. Keep it dapper. Credit card, huh? Yes, mother. No battery, but a small missed opportunity there. Pretty happy with how that floor went. DPS increased pretty nicely. Secret room's not a normal place. I'm not even gonna bother. Maybe super secrets here, though. Maybe not. It's a fair call, Chance. All right, arcade. The shot speed with Monstro's Lung is pretty killer. Hey, if we rest in this, we gain plus three soul hearts. Let's keep that in mind.
All right. Okay. Why not, you betcha? Red Ma. Red Ma is my least favorite boss to fight. Fine. Oh! Brutal. Alright, we'll just sleep in the bed here. If you have only soul hearts, you gain plus three for sleeping here. Hey, cool. Yeah, that speed challenge run was nuts. I have no idea how I didn't take damage there. Man, Rotten Baby is tempting to pick up here. We have a lot of rerolls available I can probably do better, but I love Rotten Baby, and I believe Mongo Baby will now... Yeah, so we have double fly generating babies. This is like makeshift guppies head in the way. Hey, there you go, Mediocrities. Learn something new every time you play. The nice part about Rotten Baby and Mongo Baby working together is those flies will scale with any damage items I get, too. Oh, big Bill. I feel like playing Isaac today after we did that guide video. I haven't been playing much Isaac lately. Uh, truth be told, I can really only handle about two or three Isaac runs in a row. And then I get bored. I still enjoy playing the game, though, but this is my most played game by far. Between this and the original, we have a little over 3,000 hours. Probably re-roll this. I'm happy with all uh, soul hearts right now. That would be more tier rate up. Would slow my tears down a bit. But sure, tears up's nice. The HP up, not great. But I'm gonna assume we get another devil deal at some point here. Yeah, tier rate's still good. Charge rate on monsters long, much more efficient now. And this one we have a little over a thousand. Wow. Well, car battery is kind of useless, but a reroll wouldn't be. Let's reroll the store. Keep it dapper. Ha diggity dog. 42 months ago, this game led me to this channel. I've been hooked since. Well, thank you, Justinus, for the 42 consecutive months. Much love, man. Eh, I could churn my donation machine up a little bit here. Eh. Let's buy this. Being able to double charge the D6 is nice.
Oh, Envy. At least I got a good build for Envy. Do, 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 do. Is that Pisces? Knockback shot? I think I can do better than that. Do, do, do. Not that knockback is bad with Monstro's Lung, but I think we can do better. Witwix! Thank you for the 24 consecutive months, dude. That is two consecutive years. Much love, Witwix. Hope you've been well, dude. Hope life is treating you awesome. Eh. Oh, I've been awesome with Wix. Life is life is good right now. Better than ever. Streaming, enjoying life, taking it easy. Not family time, work time, hobby time. What a life. All right, let's just get out of here. Our build's more than adequate. Should have touched that die too to remove from the pool, but whatever. Whatever. What was that freeze effect? Must have been the battery? Had to be. One room. Well, I'd rather not re-roll my build. I'm pretty happy with this. More than happy. But not quite a static. I mean, I want to get the re-roll first, but that was a really quick boss door. What a floor. Riz Tech, thank you for the 13 consecutive months. Much love. We're going to drop... Now, we're going to take this Judgy with us to the boss. We're going to clear one more room and get a double recharge for the boss fight. I'll use that. The poop was golden. So we get a potential triple devil deal reroll here. Yeah, I'll take that. Bloody lust. No problem. All right, we're gonna grab our second uh, charge here. We're heading to the boss. Hopefully get a devil deal this time. Double peeperino. Nobody likes that. Got him. Hey, okay, I need speed. We're definitely going to take that. Where'd the devil deal show up? There it is. Holy guacamole. Um, I don't really want brimstone. I like cool tier builds a lot more than I like brimstone, though. Brimstone Monstro's Lung is pretty cool.
Brim's so boring. So boring. This snooze fest. Okay, there's two out of three guppy. Door didn't stay open, unfortunate. Doo -doo -doo. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Luke Simon. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend as well. Life is beautiful, man. Thank you, everybody, for choosing to spend your time here tonight. Greatly appreciate it. My honor and pleasure to be doing this for almost five years in a row now. Unbelievable. Um, I'll definitely buy that. Man, I bet this would be... I'm just going to check this out real quick. This has to be really good. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty decent. No, nah, we're dropping the D6 for though right now. Yeah, Brim was undoubtedly the best choice. When you have 3,000 hours in a game, you have to weigh what's going to be fun to play versus what's OP. Brimstone, in general, is one of the most boring items in this game. Walk into a room, press a button, everything dies. This way we can at least get cool tier effects and stuff that we can use. Maybe get some rubber cement action going on or something. Something that's cooler than just spitting all the time. I'm trying to think what's left that I can get in the store that I want. Not much. If my build was a bit weaker, then you know I'd definitely be considering Brim harder. But there's no, there was no doubt in my mind even before Guppy that we had a winning build. Piercing shot, heck yes. That actually makes this pretty OP. Let's give it a go. This will be fun. Piercing Splody Shot sounds awesome. <laughs> It's pretty sweet. All right, got a chance for soul hearts here. This is also screaming super secret room. Hey, that sounds awesome, Rectangular. Keep in mind that each of those spread shots also generates a fly. What a cool build. Oh, too early on that one. Well, we're certainly going to buy a hive mind here. Can definitely argue for recycle too but high mind makes better flies we're this is officially a one run Doo -doo -doo -doo. wouldn't say this game ever drove me crazy big bill but it's definitely 
more difficult when I first started playing. No argument for me there, but an enjoyable frustration. Yeah, Recycle was late there. Indeed. What's in the box? Goathead, don't mind if I do. Oh, shenanigans. Diddly darn ghosts. Oh, it's Abel. You know what, Abel? Join the team, bud. Welcome to the team, partner. I'm liking this uh, blue detonator and monstrous lung. Pretty nice. Secret rooms here, there's no question. This room screams secret room. Chance at magic mush, why not? Ancient Guruham, thank you for the 16 consecutive months, sir. I hope you've been well, man. What? I disagree. Mama! Cool. Little Brimmy's a bro, but uh, nah. Oh, I should have bought that on principle. Let's buy it on principle. Let's get down to only, only soul hearts here. And we'll take negative here. We'll go dark room. We rarely go dark room and we have the build to do it. Hey, cool. Ancient Guru, huh? Congrats on the promo. Man, that ring that creates is just awesome. Yeah, these flies aren't gonna let anything get within 10 feet of me. So good. Oh, BS, I disagree. I disagree. Oh. Hey, nice net game. Let's check out what double detonating actually is. Okay, okay. So I can actually detonate the detonation. Impressive. Cool technique. Get liquefied. Seems to me if I detonate right on top of him, it just does extreme damage. Yeah, it does. That's pretty cool. I like it. Get wreck around blow. You know, all very nice things, but I'll keep my health instead.
Don't toss the urn, sir. Don't want that. What's in here? Okay. Well, blowing these up should net me some health. Should go some keys here. We're going dark room, so our keys aren't as important. Rubber cement with this would be absolutely incredible. I agree. the map reveal there I missed it obviously our boss is not this way the amount of flies I'm able to hold right now is just unreal I disagree. Thank you, Dark Bomb. Savior of Urns. All right, we on Womb 1 or Womb 2? Two? Womb 2. All right, we got double detonation here. We got this. Easy peasy, baby. All right, going down. Sub Devastator. could be interesting actually no we don't want that tier height increase at least five flies confirmed wow easy cheesy boss one two three four going down. No kidding. No, I will not take the collar. What's up, Sky the Dog? What a room. to quick clear that. It's a really annoying room. No collar because we already have Guppy. Dr. Feet is a... If I had sad bombs, I'd definitely consider picking that up. But we don't.
Yeah, I definitely hit that phenomenon since I still enjoy doing the uh, a couple of runs of Isaac. But, uh, I couldn't even imagine playing this game every day anymore. Pretty excited for After Rift Plus and the dev modding tool. I think that'll be a lot of fun, but. After a couple thousand hours, it's just. Not that I don't enjoy playing the game, I don't think it's a good game. It's just. Every game only has so many hours in it, I believe. Definitely exceptions for every person in every game, but. Get wrecked, widow. Wreckaroni pizza. Yeah, I'll take proptosis. That'll be uh, really spectacular. G G. Nice. Ah, uh, diggity dog. Biznit, thank you for the 33 consecutive months. Much love. TKE, thank you for the 900 bits, sir. Appreciate your generosity, man. Much love. Bits have been such, and cheering have been such a great addition to my channel. Thank you, everybody. It does exercise the feature. It does mean a lot, and uh, it's been a huge boon for me. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, too. All right, guys, uh, we're going to take our first actual break of the eating stream for a little over three hours now. I'm going to take three minutes here. If you allow ads to play on my stream, uh, I do appreciate it. If you don't, still very much appreciate your time here. We'll return in three minutes. If you'd like to support me and the content further, please consider using the Amazon affiliate page. All you have to do is enter through that link, lethalfry.com slash ailingstudieshgm. It will cost you absolutely nothing extra, nor change your shopping experience. A very easy way to support if you shop on Amazon.com. Be back soon.
Alrighty, we have returned. Not sure if that was quite three minutes, so we're going to sit here for a second to make sure. What's up, Vitaside? Spike hit the nail on the head there. We have no schedule for games, though if you're looking for FTL content, there is literally hundreds of hours of FTL runs uploaded to the YouTube. Literally hundreds. Um, we'll do an Isaac run. That Eden run was OP, man. A pretty good spot to use a bomb. My thoughts on Nether of the Canada is a really fun game. Uh, I couldn't see myself playing it for more than a night. The gameplay was a little bit repetitive. The events and stuff were very funny. Definitely a lovingly crafted game. No regrets on my purchase, but the AI definitely needs work. Proptosis' first item is pretty massive. Uh, Death Road to Canada. Mixu. Mixo. Okay, little tip with this room. You hit the barrel and then leave the room right away, it stops the coin progression. So you can get all four coins instead of just uh, two. All right, Cuban meat here is definitely a good pickup. We're not going to reroll that. Nice, you got like stuck in the wall there. Beautiful. Whoa, buddy. Hey. Okay, we can get another key from that other room, so why not? Dark rocks. Cube me protects you from some incoming shots, but more importantly, you can do contact damage with it by touching things for a lot of damage. Great return there. Uh, the only difference between Cube meat and ball bandages is what they transform into but they function exactly the same. Burning basement too, all right. Oh, let's blow up the other side with a bomb here. Why not? Should get them both. Uh, Bandage Girl will charm enemies, so she does have a slight difference. Oh, 
keep. in here. Uh, contract's pretty good. Uh. Oof. Uh. Man, do I triple reroll here? I think I do to try to get damage items. Succubus is pretty good, but I think we can do better. Is that Judas's shadow or my shadow? That gives a health up, right? We're probably gonna suicide on this floor. I wanna see if I can generate like a soul heart or something first. Health up plus random trinket, okay. Alright, Sackhead and Soul Heart in here. That's pretty good. Alright, we'll just sack it here then. It's a little ballsy, but I definitely think it's the right move. The damage is pretty ludicrous right now. Sure. Speed up's always nice. What a cutie looking Isaac. Really hard to say, Pocknock. I would say maybe even easier. Depends on what items you get, though. Whoa. Yeah, for basement two, our damage is <laughs> incredible. Double battery? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Tier speed up. Made my tier slightly smaller, but that's okay. Oh, but coins, though. But coins, though. Yeah, there's more items in the pool for potentially more broken builds. Cool. Yep, basement two indeed. We got enough damage to beat the game right now pretty, pretty handily. Just gotta recover health. I did not shave my beard after the challenge, James J. But nice to see you again. 
Well, I guess I did technically, but like a year and a half later. The challenge ended January 6, 2014. Live streamed every day for 731 consecutive days. I shaved in July of last year. September. Probably shouldn't have gone in here. What's the harm? Well, hold on to Hangman here. Give you the C. Let's see. We got S H Q F W G W K. One moment. Hot diggity dog. JSPH Quad 5, thank you for those 1500 bits. Cheers to you, friend. Much love. Thanks for that support, partner. It means the world. It has been that long indeed. Uh, the two year live stream challenge was over two years ago now. January 5th of next year will be five year full time broadcasting with the start date being day one of the two-year live stream challenge. <laughs> Ashley made my me fat. Thank you for the 25 consecutive months. Much love. This build is redonkulous. We can get something better than that for sure. Going good, Sinvicta. Yeah, this run's going awesome, Robbie Blitz. We got uh, Proptosis first item, and then we got Whore of Babylon and Judas's Shadow. So the damage just went through the roof. Sounds about right, Mediocrities. I'll take that. I don't think it actually does that much good, but slow effects nice for select bosses. Not gonna hurt anything. This room screams secret room. Wow. Do 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 do. I might come back and get that. I might re-roll it, too. Do I really need re-rolls at this point? Oh, let me tell you, James J. Only a viewer would complain about slow chat. I love slow chat. I appreciate my lurkers greatly. Should have grabbed that battery before coming in here. Okay, I'll grab this before going in. It will remove our Horror Babylon. We'll just pick up Athame here. Wowza, wowza. Probably the maddest I've ever been on stream, Kawhi, was that Earthworm Gym cast. It was a frustrating broadcast. Well, do we keep the D6 with us, or do we take that Forget Me Now? I think we keep the D6. Oh, I know they do, Zagasil. I have a career on Twitch TV because of Lurkers. Chatters are important as well because it provides the commentary interaction that makes live streaming great. But Lurkers pay my bills, and I love you guys. Earthworm Jim was a game I had a lot of childhood nostalgia in. 
And then it turns out it's just not a very good game. Ah, different times indeed, Yoshi. We don't even have a strict backseat gaming policy now. One of the best changes I made for the channel, I believe. Definitely made me enjoy broadcasting more. Trying to enforce backseat gaming is so stupid. It doesn't work. I've never seen it work, I should say. Two of spades. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's impossible, Yoshi. It really is. In my opinion, it's not a fair expectation that you shouldn't have the game spoken about while you're playing it in a live internet chat room. Very easy to delude yourself into thinking that's going to happen or that it can be enforced, but it will ultimately only cause frustration. Or that was my experience. All it did was cause frustration and uh, not really improve the broadcast at all. Did not improve my enjoyment of the games either. I mean, yeah, it sucks to get backseated sometimes or be told the solution to a puzzle, but... Streaming's a group experience, is it not? Takes two parts. Takes the broadcaster and the viewers. And having the ability to not be able to speak about the game being played, I think, greatly limits the viewer or the chatter's interaction, at least. And if you're getting all pissy about backseat gaming, which I've certainly done a, my fair share of times, it kind of diminishes the experience for everybody. But that's just my opinion. I think the problem is that most uh, backseat gaming that happens is not malicious in any way, shape, or form. It's just somebody wanting to help you, trying to interact with the broadcast and enjoy a game with you. There's nothing wrong with that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, certainly there's a boundary somewhere, Mediocrities. Like, I won't accept somebody telling me step-by-step -step directions uh, on each part of a game. That's obviously not. But if people want to discuss mechanics or give a suggestion on how to beat a boss or something, by all means, knock yourself out. Well, Reaper, it's all about perception. And there was a time in my broadcasting career where I felt having a no backseat gaming policy was really important to me as a broadcaster. So I agree it may seem silly, but to the person whose channel it is, who's put all that time into their own content and growing their own community, I mean, that's, if that's very important to them, then by all means. Sure, it's more about the delivery of the device for sure, Sinvicta. But again, I think it's an unrealistic expectation to expect people to communicate well in an internet chat room. Some people are better communicators than others. Nick Finn, thank you for the 100 bits. Cheers to you, friend. Like, if I expected everybody to communicate to me the same way I communicate to other people, I'd be pissed off all the time. Because people don't communicate like I do. That took me a long time to get over. Sometimes you have to look at what somebody says and not try to break it down into the tone they said it in. Just find the raw information in the sentence and take it for what it is. Impossible to expect people to come in and know as well. That's very true. But it's very easy to perceive that that is possible. Strength card for the Devil Deal would have been a great idea, Redul. We didn't get a Devil Deal anyways. Good observation, good suggestion. 
Did I reroll the item room? I'm not sure. Check if we have a battery. I think that's the end of our rerolls, though. Yeah, that's it. Not like the build turn here. Judgment card. Ah. Oh! Should have done that one last. I knew that, though. I just goofed it. Okay, I would just like to recover some soul hearts. Let's get a nice surplus of soul hearts build up. We're going to be in a good spot. I have done Eden Streaks, yes, Blazing Soul. Hey, the game was listening. Thank you, game. Three mystery bags, double battery, two of diamonds. Shouldn't have picked that up yet, but I did. This is a great room to use bombs in. Maybe the best. Oh, we got Curse of the Maze happening. Oh! All right, resistance room could come in handy. Joker card, let's see what's up. Joker. Wow, Maul of the Void would do massive damage right now. I don't know, man. Yeah, let's take that. Won't be useful for most rooms. We can kill stuff with the Maw. We can get Blackheart spawned. Yeah, the damage on Ma is going to be pretty freaking intense. And every enemy that's killed with a Ma has a chance to drop a black art. Okay, we're on Necro 1. Fair enough. That is much better than I was expecting. We've already been in here. Sure, I'll take some speed up. Pretty tempting over there. Tech point five is definitely the right call here. That's gonna do some sick nasty damage. <laughs> Going good, Kakashi. With the double rerolls there is definitely an argument for just re-rolling that, but. Not a very good one, if you ask me. Hey! Steam sale. <laughs> Pandora's box, depth one is four soul hearts, right? Yeah! That's the stuff.
Oh, one more floor to possibly get something really legit there. I'll buy a recycle. Why not? Go clear the rest of the floor. The succubus damage is crazy right now, too, with Proptosis. This is an extremely good build. Yes, I will take the soul. More soul hunts. Sadly, Ma's not really even being used at this point. All right, let's check in this room. Legit. So we're two out of three for the spun transformation, and our move speed is superior right now. I like it a lot. Curse of the blind. Could try to push for a hush kill here, though. I think that'd be pushing it, though. Yeah, I think that about rounds it out for us. Let's do it. not bad, but I lost my Proptosis build. Also, Knife's pretty bad at killing the Hush, but with Tech Point 5, we can make it work. Curse of the Labyrinth. Interesting. That definitely made our build weaker, I feel. Are we not flying right now? We're not. See if we make it or not. If we have this out easier when he goes to phase three, it should simplify things quite a bit. Why did I even go up here? It's looking promising. Speed's good enough, and Ma the Void will be adequate damage. It's looking like the way to the boss, too. If I had to guess. Not a single black heart spawn for Ma yet. Very interesting. left.
We got plenty of time to take a few rerolls here. Two thirds mom, two thirds spun, one third gupster. That is correct. Pentagram sounds good. We're one evil item away from flying now, I believe. I'm gonna run back for this battery. We'll run back, kill mom real quick, head to hush. I wanna have a, uh, a charge though when we head into hush because there's gonna be multiple item rooms there. We also have recycle, so if there's a battery in the store at Hush, we'll be able to get uh, a lot of rerolls. Get some high tier items. What a wild and crazy looking build this is. Seven in. So by. <laughs> Going down. That circle is Ma the Void. The really OP item. You'll see a cross show up on my forehead after a while. We can release it to do this huge circle of damage. I mean, these are great, but um, neither help out the knife build very much. Pluto knife's pretty lame. So a tier build that Cricket's body would be awesome. Hey, that's true. Homing does help Ma out a lot. It's a fair point. All right, we're gonna take the rune here. Wow, Ma does monster damage to him. Going up. Mm. 
That was really smooth, yeah. Ma of the Void did a lot better on that fight than I was expecting. What you got, beggarmans? Okay. We did use restock to fill up on soul hearts. It was definitely a help. You still have the chance to go to Cathedral of Shale. You do indeed get the chance to go up or down after Hush. Get liquefied. I keep thinking I'm having flying, but I don't. Thanks for the soul heart, friend. I brought my Emperor card here. We're going to go ahead and clear a bunch anyways. Spun. Spun's even more damage. What's up, Daharma? Nice! The damage is real, big time. Okay, things inside the aura for Succubus will take uh, damage over time while in the aura. But you also get a damage increase for firing inside of the aura. So it's both of those things. Good question.
GG. Five Finger Heist. Thank you for those 500 bits. Cheers to you, man. Thanks for that support using the cheer feature. Cheers to you, bud. Let's do one more. Let's do an Eden run. We'll start with three items this time. Okay, so we started with Razor, Little Chub, and Fear Shot. Three Soul Hearts. Uh, not a great start. Mandatory three soul heart little chub build, yeah. Also should be the most challenging build yet. We'll see what we get. Fear shots more of a hindrance than anything else. Kawaii Baka, let me put it this way. I have 10,000, almost 10,000 hours of live stream content. We've played hundreds of games during that time. If I still only played two games after five years of streaming, I probably wouldn't be streaming anymore. This is actually the first time I played Isaac in over a month. I do play with a controller flying, indeed. I switched over to playing with controller after about 1,200, no, no, that's wrong, 600 hours of playing on keyboard. Never looked back. Uh, Xlam games list, dear girl. Okay, we got a dark rock here. Might as well pop it. I didn't miss the dark rock. I just wanted to make sure I had the resource first. Always best to leave your dark rocks on the floor until later. Because what if that bomb I just used uh, is a opportunity to get two bombs somewhere else on the floor? What convinced you to switch controller? My aching wrist. I use the joystick to move. I also use D-pad sometimes, but I've always fired with the face buttons. Okay, soul's nice. Not a damage up, though. Good time to break these poops since we have the petrified poop. Much higher chance of finding coins and stuff in here. Oh, hey, flying to each their own. Nothing wrong with this keyboard. I just find controller a lot more comfortable. 
Yeah, keyboard's great until you're doing 10 hour a night sessions, which is what I was doing um, back then during the tier livestream challenge. Summer 2012. The crazy time. Wow, man. Um. Why not both? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh crap, I thought I fought the boss already. I guess not. No, at least the fear shot is a slight damage up. Our fire rate is not good. We have a good basis for maybe an okay build though. We'll see. Okay. We've gotten two luck ups this floor too. That's nice. No, there is no win streak active catalog. I haven't played in over a month. I don't think I'll be doing win streaks anytime soon, if ever again. Broken stopwatch when you take damage will slow the room down. So it's a very nice defensive item. And since our offense is pretty weak, not bad pickup. Tech X. Solid, baby. Interesting. Maybe it's not based on damage anymore. Maybe it's just a random chance to slow that room down. A little bit of fire rate and damage this uh, Tech X is going to take off. Dingle, dangle, dongle. Dingleton. Dingarino. Dingorama. Head of Krampus, much better than the Razor. What's up, Caroline? Small rock, nice. Slight speed down, but our damage is great now. Uh, the head does a six-way brimstone all the way across the, the room. A no, four-way, excuse me. Four-way brimstone. We do have quite a bit of red hearts here. We could go for a blood bag or two, but I feel like we're sitting pretty well. Yep, might as well go in the shot so we have the golden key. Good idea. That's true, rectangular. It's a delayed speed down. Alright, we're just gonna go here. I could stay and gamble, but... 
not worth, I don't think. Dude, Junior, have a great day at work or as good a day as you possibly can, sir. Take it easy. The Razor, you can take one heart of damage to increase your damage for that one room. Not a great item, but it does have uses. Distant Admiration. Do I think I can make Boss Rush? Possibly. I don't think I have the build to beat Boss Rush right now. I mean, it's okay, but uh, my speed's definitely lacking. But yeah, making Boss Rush is definitely a possibility here. That's what Hedda Krampus does. No devil deal. All right, let's just push it then. <laughs> We're a little bit behind on time. We have a very effective clearing item, so most rooms will be cleared quicker than normal, I think. Oh, it sped up the room. I don't have one of those crazy Tom. All depends on how the run's going. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Give it more radius when you charge it. Spam firing it in small circles is probably the best damage overall. Do do do. Mask infamy, mediocre item, but good defense. Also, they really made us clear this entire floor, which kind of sucks. One speed up item would be super freaking helpful here. What's up, Lemmy? How you doing today? Good old fat bats. Always causing a ruckus. Uh, I gotta wonder if I can bomb into my store from right here. Nope. stats up. That's beautiful. And yes, I will take this. We get two tech X-rings now. Awesome. But we're definitely so I should have used Krampus' head there. Curse of the blind. We should be able to make boss rush here, but there's no guarantee of that. Oh, balls. The reason I'm not picking up coins, I'm trying to save time so I can get to boss rush. Keep it 
Smokey is a bear. Thank you for the 15 consecutive months. Much love, dude. Cricket's body. Okay, splash damage and tears up. I don't think we actually get uh, splash damage here, but the tears up is really helpful because now I can spam Tech X better. Please be the boss door this way. It's looking like it is. Maybe. Here. Must be. All right, our move speed is definitely lower than I'd like for boss rush. We're still gonna try to make it happen. We got about five minutes to clear the next floor. Shouldn't be a problem. Caffeine pill. That sorts it. Yeah, we have Incubus, so Incubus will also shoot Tech Hex tiers. Seeker room's here. This room, Scream Seeker room. It's just one of those rooms you know it's going to be there. Yes, the head can spin just like Krampus' attack. Well, I'd say at this rate of clear, we're in a good spot. I guess 25% chance to spin. Bud bombs are realistically not bad for boss rush. Not shabs. Boss door has to be this way. It just must. It must. Yeah, buddy. All right, mama. Tech X is so good at killing him. There's no need to use Cramps' head here. I'd rather save it for boss rush. It's gonna make my life easier. I disagree. What a noise. What a legend. Thank you for that. Feels actually a lot more OP than I thought it was. Always nice when things go better than expected, huh?
Yeah, we're definitely 1,001%. Have been for a long time. 2,000 of my 3,000 hours in Isaac came from the base game. We got a little over 1,000 in this version. And we are certainly 100, 1,001%. I really should have used my uh, Cramson's head here sooner. I've already seen all the nasty bosses, too. Open. Liquefied sun. I guess I should have been standing over here firing. You know what? Number one's actually really great, so that'll allow me to completely spam fire here. Max tier rate. Seems legit. Go try to get to Hush. Damage is good. I actually think this build wrecks Hush pretty bad. I am doing great, Wolf Hunter 2099. How are you today, man? Thank you, Broken Stopwatch. That room is particularly nasty. We will. I thought the bombs would explode there, and I have to wait. Here we go. What's happening, Death? What's up, Zox? All the cool kids showing up today. Okay. Okay, I gotta hold it down a little bit longer to get Incubus to fire too. That's fair. Got the pacing now. Is there any answer who wouldn't pick Steven? Steven the tumor or Steven the follower? A lot of speedrunners won't take speed Steven the follower. <laughs> Uh, homing shot can complicate dodging some things. Oh, saw that coming. The fool. The journey begins. I am the Raj. Thank you for the 28 consecutive months, sir. Much love. Congrats, Boogaloo. Do, do. Get wrecked, dude. Um, I kind of want Satanic Bible here, but I think the, the head's better overall. Much better for clearing, that's for sure.
No, I definitely would give up the space for item if the right one came along. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Boss down here, please. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, I almost took damage there. Very close. Stars, okay. I doubt it's up into the right, but that's what we're gonna check. We have enough time, regardless, to clear the rest of this floor, so. No problem. Golden Aura, thank you for the 27 consecutive months. And yes, life does indeed love to throw curveballs. Glad you can make it tonight. Balls. You got me, game. Well played. It's looking like the boss might be this way, though, which is great. Yay, we made it. All right, down to Hush with six hearts. Do, 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 do. I am not a speedrunner, no, Wolf Hunter. I do very much support and enjoy watching the GDQ events, but I am not a speedrunner by any any sense of the word. Sad onion sounds cool. Dark rock here. Now I can spam it. Beautiful. Blank room. Oh. Sweet card, man. All right, it's hush time. PAE forever, little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper. Thank you so much for the continued support via subscription. Much love. There you go, go, There you go.
Can you pop out so I can kill you already, please? Thank you. Sweet, man. Going up. Hey, PA. Well, I'm glad the stream's been a safe place for you. Welcome back. It's always been my goal to write a friendly, non confrontational place for people to relax. Because everybody has really bad days sometimes. And I want this to be a consistent place where you know you can go just to chill out. Glad I could be that place tonight for you. Hope things look up for you. The jukes were helped and complicated by having the soul item. Made it a little hard to tell what's going on, but also kept me from taking damage a few times. Okay, we got a sped up Isaac fight. Wow. Broken stopwatch is broken. You done, so. Going up. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? It's pretty bad. Look at the speed on that. That's actually good with Ease Mascara that the shot speed's so low. It just means more damage. Way more damage. We not have the negatives, so we could not get to the dark room going down. Unless you're answering a question in chat. We went, uh, we went down last run. Went pretty good. But this run we took the Polaroid, because I knew we were going to go for boss rush and hush. So I wanted to have that Polaroid shield as a backup. Though, knowing what the build turned into, I would have gladly gone down to the dark room.
GG. What a round. I was winning too much, eating too many Cheez-Its, that's right. Alright guys, that's going to be our time today. I apologize for the slightly shorter stream today. I came into the stream today with a very clear focus of doing that uh, Black Desert Online guy uh, stream, which I was very happy with. We had some fun time playing Isaac, which I haven't done in about a month. And as a reminder, there will be a stream tomorrow around 10pm Pacific for Cooking with Frag Pad Thai. And then we have an awesome week lined up next week as well. I'm going to host uh, Richard Hammer, who is playing Death Road to Canada, the game I enjoyed playing very much last night. Two nights ago, the days all blend together. So I hope you guys have an amazing, wonderful, safe, and productive weekend. I had a great time this week, and I'm looking forward to making next week even better. See you all tomorrow for Cooking with Frag, Pad Thai, 10 p.m. Pacific. Until next time, keep it dapper and be good to each other. That's all I got for tonight. Frag out. You're all lovely and amazing.